there are multiple advantages uh, like removing dissing components so we can use coupler like a device for matching impedance same way uh, same way we can uh, put clock pulse also uh, through same link and data also through same link and same way bandwidth also if we want to send uh, more data through less bandwidth then we can use appropriate encoding so physical medium takes care about this encoding thing also uh, connector specifications different types uh, are there so like I can say like a uh, RJ45 or uh, uh, ST connector in uh, fiber optic and if we are using fiber optic then we may think about sim single mode and multi mode also so PM takes care about this then uh, more important uh, upper layer is uh, transmission convergence TC what I have denoted over here so TC transmission convergence is responsible for um, building HEC then what is HEC header error check HEC then uh, uh, just I can uh, show you uh, some another stuff over here like we are just uh, we have to encapsulate our data in 53 bytes of cell or uh, 48 bytes for payload so we are going to put this data over here 48 bytes but here we have some different field like uh, these are some uh, different fields are there like generic flow control and VPI VCI as we have discussed over here so we have five different uh, words are there so five different bytes then fifth bit byte is actually one HEC fifth bit is actually uh, three four and five so this byte will work as a HEC now remember that here we are not sending any CRC for data here it is like CRC only for this but this CRC only work for your header part uh, you can recall this word like uh, in HDLC we are putting CRC at a trailer end so here at the back side so this is your header part in I am talking about HDLC HDLC high level data link control here exactly we are putting CRC at the back side or here we can uh, find out errors in data also with this CRC but they have not given any CRC at this place so here if anything goes wrong with some data you cannot find because there is no any CRC for data so TCP or UDP transport layer protocol will take care of this but if something goes wrong with VPI and VCI then you may lose your data or some um, uh, crucial information can be there so 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 if anything goes wrong with data you can discard this information whole information if uh, HEC is wrong so building HEC is the mm, uh, main task of uh, transmission convergence so now we can start discussing about this particular ATM layer so exactly ATM layer is responsible for encapsulating whole data and forming one header so I want to draw this uh, diagram over here so for that I have to erase the whole diagram over here and exactly I want to show you how a ATM layer look like or what are different field in a header part of ATM layer so uh, just I can draw this one cell like I uh, currently I am sending uh, I can draw this vertical diagram of a cell so suppose these five bytes are there for suppose uh, suppose for header part okay so first byte the first byte is divided into two part four bit for something they have called as a GFC generic flow control so generic flow control is n uh, not defined by ATM forum just any uh, uh, exactly uh, we have uh, kept a reserve for future use and actually it is not defined for uh, user to network interface now what is this user to network interface so 
suppose a uh, cloud is there uh, this is suppose ATM network and too many devices are there and they are connected with ATM backbone suppose so if a user is here and user is connected with this link then this link is called as a user to network interface UNI and these two uh, devices over there they are connected with a network to network interface NNI so generic flow control is not used in a UNI so here we are not if your link is connected between uh, ATM switch and user then we are not using this generic flow control field okay but if this NNI is there then we can use this generic flow control as a VPI only virtual path identifier so this may provide little bit higher number of path for service provider because this is also field there which can which we have kept reserved for virtual path identifier VPI bit so this is, is about uh, first byte of a ATM cell then we have this second word that is second byte here we have this field also four byte VPI virtual path identifier in this way we have four plus four eight total bytes bits uh, uh, VPI but if network to network interface for eight plus four that is twelve bit we can use in a network to network interface but in case of user to network user to network interface we can use only 8 bit then other bit um, bytes um, bits are there and they have and they are as a work as a VCI virtual circuit identifier then we have again whole this VCI bit over here VCI same way VCI so we have 16 bits assigned for a VCI so VCI virtual circuit identifier so total VCI bits are 18 I'm sorry 16 okay then what about these other uh, other field over here these are different like uh, just remember that we have actually ex exactly consumed 4 bit from a byte okay so remaining 4 are again divided into payload type PT I can draw like this PT and this is a this I can draw over here like CLP cell loss priority CLP bit now what is exactly PT means payload type and what is CLP mm, I just I can explain this in a few moment but exactly this is the structure of a ATM cell header and uh, this is HEC then uh, can I ask some question what is HEC? HEC? HEC is nothing but header error check it is work it works as a CRC for whole this uh, header part over here and HEC is generated by transmission convergence which is a second sub layer of a physical layer which we have discussed just before okay so what is payload type PT okay payload type PT bit so the, we have used three bits over here so first bit second bit and third bit and fourth bit is cell loss priority so PT f only one bit has been defined by ATM forum and we are using for conjunction notification cell loss priority uh, uh, works under traffic contract every service provider or every user they can they can apply for particular demand or they can apply for a particular bandwidth if a user wants to download some data or upload some data if a user is downloading more than committed then cell loss priority may go on in this case 
we can discard whole this frame over here if this bit is on then the switches which is located at the middle of network they can discard this whole frame why definitely to reduce congestion service provider they don't want to give more than they committed uh, what we have learned so first objective so just like uh, ATM in general we can use to send any information like uh, voice data image then uh, we can use this information with uh, uh, a new technologies simple structure header structure VPI and VCI statistical multiplexing we learn about statistical multiplexing why exactly asynchronous then what about uh, 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 53 bytes why only 53 bytes because delay delay may cause uh, more um, uh, bytes may cause like 64 byte or 128 byte may cause more delay which is not accepted for voice services because it may create some echo in voice then we learn about uh, three uh, types uh, three uh, three la pro, uh, layers in a protocol stack like a physical layer, ATM layer and ATM adaptation la layers. So thank you for friends. Uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, thank you Telemann.